Hey folks, welcome back to the Sedgwick Jimmy channel and a happy new year out there. Today we're looking at the sad story of Topsy the Elephant who went from circus attraction to public execution. Why would an elephant be executed and why would people think that Thomas Edison was to blame? Well that's what we're here to talk about, so let's get into it. Topsy, an Asian elephant, was born around 1875 in Southeast Asia, imagine that, and had been captured and smuggled to America by 1777 under the orders of Adam Forepaugh. See, Forepaw owned a circus, and he was in a fierce competition with P.T. Barnum and his Barnum and Bailey Circus, particularly when it came to elephants. Fun fact, it was Forepaw that attributed the famous quote, there's a sucker born every minute and none of them ever died to Barnum in order to discredit him, or as you kids like to say, throw shade, but it didn't really work as Barnum never admitted to saying it, though he also refused to deny it. Moving on. Forepaw's plan was to market Topsy as the first elephant born in America, which wasn't true of course, but people didn't need to know that, and Forepaw named the elephant Topsy after a slave girl from Uncle Tom's cabin. By the way, Barnum found out about the ruse and exposed Forepaw for his hoax, after which Forepaw dropped the ploy. Topsy performed for Four Paws Circus until 1902, and she eventually gained a reputation as a man killer. This pretty much started around 1902 when a drunk spectator entered the elephant's tent and teased the animals, going so far as to throw sand at Topsy's face and burn her trunk with a cigar. Topsy then threw the man to the ground and crushed him. Not many of us can really blame her here. But, with rather exaggerated news reports of the incident, as well as unsubstantiated reports of her killing handlers previously, she became known as a bad elephant, a reputation that Fourpaw used to bring in the fans by the droves. However, when Topsy nearly killed another spectator that physically harassed her, Fourpaw decided it was time to sell the old girl off. In June of 1902, Topsy was sold to Paul Boyton, the owner of Sea Lion Park in Coney Island, but at the end of a disappointing summer, he decided to get out of the amusement park game and lease the park to two men, Frederick Thompson and Elmer Skip Dundee. They renamed it Luna Park and began to expand. Now, when Topsy was sold, her handler, William Whitey Alt, went with her, and that's not really a good thing. In October of 1902, he reportedly stabbed her with a pitchfork while she was being used to drag part of a ride during construction, something that people looked at as her being punished for her violent actions, and when he was stopped by police, he took off her harness and had her run through the streets, causing chaos and for Alt to be arrested. To his credit, he was supposedly drunk, as he was also drunk when he chose to ride Topsy into town and try to break into the police station using the elephant. Needless to say, he was fired, and Topsy was pretty much vilified by the populace, so she had to go, and they had a plan for how to make some money while she did. With nowhere to sell her or give her away, Thompson and Dundee had the idea of executing Topsy and charging 25 cents a person to watch. They announced on December 13th that Topsy would be put to death by electrocution, then came out on January 1st, 1903 and claimed that they planned to hang her on the 3rd or 4th. You heard me right, they were gonna hang an elephant. Luckily, the president of the ASPCA, John Peter Haynes, vetoed this idea as being cruel. He did, however, agree with Topsy being strangled by a steam-powered winch while also being electrocuted and poisoned if it was conducted right, seeing as there had been a botched elephant electrocution two years earlier. Yeah, you heard me right, this wasn't the first elephant electrocution. This is what people did before television. The execution was set for Sunday, January 4th, 1903, and as they led Topsy out to the gallows set up, she refused to cross over the bridge. When they couldn't get her to move, they then moved the gallows to her. She was fed poisoned carrots, and at 245, 6600 volts were shot through her for 10 seconds, killing her. After she fell, they strangled her body with two nooses for two minutes, just for good measure. And with that, Topsy the elephant was dead. Thank you. 
Short answer, pretty much nothing. Edison's film company, Edison Studios, did record the execution, and that video does exist if you'd like to see it, but I deliberately chose not to show it here, and instead, here's some baby elephants. The idea that Thomas Edison used the electrocution as an attack in the War of Currents is incorrect, seeing as the war had been over for 10 years. So where did the connection come from? Well, two places. A, it was reported to have been carried out by electricians of Edison's company, which Edison no longer had any part of, and B, because the film was accredited to him, as pretty much all his films were. That's it. Any more connection is pure speculation at best. Don't get me wrong, Edison wasn't the best guy ever, but his hands are actually clean on this one. And that's just gonna about do it for our quick look at the life and publicity stunt death of Topsy the Elephant, which again had nothing to do with Thomas Edison. And if you liked it, why don't you give us a like? If you want to see more, give us a subscribe. If you have anything to add or any ideas for future episodes, why don't you let us know down in the comments. We appreciate you being here. We appreciate you watching. And hope to see you here again in the future for more Sedgwick Jimmy. Come check it out.